India's skies are about to witness a global dogfight, not with fighter jets, but with transport aircraft. As the Indian Air Force prepares to replace its aging and 32 and Avro fleets under the medium transport aircraft program, aerospace giants from Russia to Brazil are eyeing what could become one of the largest military transport deals outside NATO. At the heart of this competition lies a deeper story, one of self-reliance, strategic partnerships, and global positioning. With India's Make in India and Atmanurbha Bharat initiatives shaping defense procurement, countries are no longer just offering aircraft. They're offering industrial partnerships, local manufacturing, and long-term collaboration. And now, Brazil has entered the arena, challenging Russia's IL-276 with its Embraer C-390 Millennium, backed by a powerful Indian partner, Mahindra Defense. The upcoming MTA program is not just about replacing old aircraft, it's about building new capability at home. The tender will prioritize domestic assembly and technology absorption, ensuring India's aerospace ecosystem gains both experience and independence. As the Ministry of Defense prepares to issue the formal tender, several global contenders are lining up, each offering unique strengths and facing distinct challenges. Russia, India's longtime defense ally, has pitched the IL-276, developed jointly with HAL. The design offers continuity, drawing from India's extensive experience with Russian platforms. However, its prospects face headwinds. Enter Brazil, a new but ambitious player in the defense race. Its flagship transport aircraft, the KC-390 Millennium, is a modern, multi-role airlifter designed by Embraer. Partnering with Mahindra Defense, Embraer is offering far more than an aircraft. It's proposing a make-in-India production ecosystem. This collaboration could see Indian-built KC-390, serving both domestic and export markets aligning perfectly with India's long-term industrial vision. With a payload capacity of around 26 tons, advanced avionics, and fly-by-wire systems, the KC-390 promises high performance, lower maintenance, and faster turnaround than its rivals. Brazilian officials have confidently stated that the KC-390 outperforms Russia's IL-276 in terms of efficiency, range, and operating cost, making it a strong, modern alternative for the IAF evolving needs. Interestingly, Embraer's ambitions don't stop in India. The company is preparing to establish a new aircraft assembly line in the United States, a move aimed at boosting its presence in the North American defense market. This strategic step will not only strengthen, Embraer's credibility, but also position the KC-390 as a serious contender for future U.S. Air Force transport and tanker programs. By setting up local production in America, Embraer aims to counter Lockheed Martin's dominance with the C-130J Super Hercules, the current global benchmark for tactical airlift. The made-in-U.S. approach could help Embraer navigate Washington's by American policy and appeal to Pentagon planners seeking alternatives. The race for India's medium transport aircraft program is shaping up as a defining moment, not just for the IAF, but for global defense industry alignments. As Russia leans on history and Brazil bets on innovation, India stands as the pivot, the nation whose decision could tilt global aerospace dynamics. The winner of this contract won't just supply aircraft, it will help shape the future of India's defense, manufacturing, and global partnerships. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section.